So what do you need to play games in Game Deckverse? What do you need to enter sensory worlds? This is how we call uh, virtual worlds in Game Deckverse. You need six things and four of them are uh, is equipment and two of them uh, are the drugs. Let's start with the equipment. Well, there is a computer, a couch, a suit and the helmet. Uh, so let's begin with the computer. Computer is controlling it all. It's the brain of the whole system and it's the firewall of the system because it is connected to the global net. So if somebody wants to sabotage you, to hack you, he must go through your computer, which is connected to the couch and to the suit and to the helmet. The couch is just a bed, but a very special bed. It does several things. Uh, uh, the first, uh, it does the massage to your body because uh, if you lie for a longer period of time, you could have a pressure, pressure source. So uh, it prevents you from getting them and it heats you a little bit and most importantly it heats the nutri fluid um, i will talk about it uh, a little bit later about about what what nutri fluid is then we have the suit uh, well the suit is something that you put on before entering the net uh, it doubles a little bit uh, what the couch does because it uh, also gives you a massage it prevents a pressure source and it prevents um, muscular atrophy. I don't know if you know, but if you lie still for several hours, for a day or two or three, you can stay in the net even for four days, then you will develop um, muscular atrophy. So the suit is extremely important because it takes, uh, takes care of you and it prevents it. So now there is a helmet. Well, helmet is a very, very intricate piece of machinery, it's very expensive, it's very complicated, and it does three things. First, it does devitalization. What it is? Well, it is disconnecting the movement centers of your brain from your real body, so that you can move in the virtual world, in sensory world, you can move your hands, you can move your legs, but your real legs and your real hands are lying still on the couch. The same process is uh, when you are asleep. You can dream of running, of fighting and so on, but your hands and your legs are lying still. The opposite um, thing to the uh, devitalization is revitalization. And this process is also done by the helmet. And the third most important thing is the game. Well, the helmet uh, stimulates your brain in billions of places. And I'm not exaggerating. We have in our brains uh, 100 billion of uh, brain cells, of neurons, and each of them has more or less 10,000 synapses. So it's a lot, and helmet controls most of it. So it creates the um, phenomenon of seeing things. You, you, you have a sensation that you see the world around you, the virtual world, that you hear this world, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can, you can taste it. And uh, well, you don't go anywhere. Your brain doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't enter the game. The game enters your brain. And this is all done by the helmet. So we have the four pieces of equipment, uh, the computer, the helmet, the suit, and the couch. And now we move to the drugs. Uh, the first is Nutri-Fluid. Well, it's just your nourishment. It is, you attach it to the bed, the bed, well, to the bed, to the couch. It uh, warms it, then you attach it to the nano socket in your forearm, and then you don't have to be afraid that you will be very hungry during staying in the net. The second piece of drug is very, very complex and very, very expensive. It is called game pill. Game pill is a little capsule that you have to swallow before entering the net. And the li this little capsule uh, contains billions of nanobots that change your metabolical pathways. So you don't have uh, to worry about overfilling of your bladder and of your colon. It is really important when you stay longer in the net. So now think about it. We have six points of this system. Six points, computer, helmet, couch, suit, Nutri-fluid and game pill, and each of them can break, can be broken, can be sabotaged, can be cranked up. But who will who will do that? 
who will do those manipulations, who will manipulate, who will, who will hack it, who will take the risk, who would bear the risk? Well, there are as many answers as there are situations, and believe me, in game deckverse, situations are always very complex.